this session let us try to explore about uh, data sets now how do we uh, create data frames and how do we create other days then what is the context that we use for creation of RDs? we use something like a sc dot spark context while some rd1 rd is equal to sc dot text to file we use this text to file or we load some data from uh, HDFS or somewhere local file system or it can be anywhere 8020 slash or batch one this is going to create a RDD okay next how to create a data frame directly from out of a file SQL context dot read dot format and we have to load some JSON file here JSON load of home load error JSON file so this is how we are going to create a data frame now you can see df dot show it is going to print the data of the data frame okay fine now that's fine now we shall try to see how to create a data set what is the use of it and actually what is its role is going to be can we replace data frames or uh, rdds or oh, no what is its main what does it mean actually okay let us try to see that now. well ds equal to sql context dot read dot format so the format can be text to file also text to file dot load hdfs colon double slash local host colon 8020 slash one slash movies dot dat sorry text to file maybe text to, sorry it is text here text so what is created here so we didn't see about the text to format until now sql context dot read dot format of text dot load and this is what we have done so with the sql context actually what we are trying to create here data frame data frame of what data frame every record is a string here so ds dot show or some 10 what is created here only one column is created that is entire record is created as only one string okay what is just understand what we are trying to create is a data frame and with this what we have created here data frame only but the format is json format here the file is json file now here the file is a text file so we can create a data frame out of a text file also not only json file csv file uh, XML files we can create a data frame out of text file also make a note of these points we can create data frame out of JSON files XML files CSV files text to files and uh, Avro files is it okay right so here we are going to change just you know the syntax is same everything is same only here the type of the file is going to change if it is xml we'll have xml here if it is json json if it is csv csv if it is text text to file that's it if it is avro avro if it is park it park it but it now now i will try to show so let me use data frame one df1 we may get confused here this is df1 this is a data frame is created now i can create a data set out of data frame we are creating data set out of the data frame not directly here we create data set out of the data frame okay well ds1 equal to df1 dot as of string ds1 is equal to df1 dot as of string this make a note of this statement here this is the creation of a data set out of a data frame data frame dot as string so a data set will be created here okay now how to print the data frame data set data is the simply ds1 dot show so let us show some 10 that's it just to make a note of this point this is this step first main step first we are creating data frame here after that we are trying to create data set out of the data frame simply dot as of string okay this this, this step is very important first creation of data frame after that data frame out of data set out of data frame next well df2 what is that we have created out of json file now i'm creating one more data frame df2 okay now here to convert this data frame into data set 
just observe what we are trying to do here just observe the end just i'm repeating this step please observe carefully here data frame 1 one data set 1 next data frame 2 and data set 2 this is what and this is the case class please observe here carefully and try to understand what's happening here first data frame creation next creating data set out of this data frame here also we are creating one data frame after that we are trying to create a data set out of this data frame just try to understand what's happening here we are trying to create a data frame out of text to file okay but now in the very beginning sessions i told you that generally we have data frame data set and rdd data frame data set and rdd okay so when do we prefer to create a data frame out of a, a file when do we create a try to create a data frame out of a file so if the file is structured or semi structured if the file is structured our semi structure we try to go with data frame and data set i told you already and if this file is unstructured not properly delimited no fuck schema at all then we try to go with what rdd okay now so generally text to file flat text to file doesn't have any schema even the data will not be you know data cannot be accessed directly the schema will not be there and data does not have any proper delimiter that will be there but actually here we need to go with rdd but we created data frame and data set we have created data frame and data set so now i say that data set can be used as an alternative to rdd i can say that data set can be used make a note of this point data set can be used and all as an alternative to rdd remember okay why well, because whatever the operations we can do with rdd same operations we can do with data set not data frame data set okay right so we shall discuss about this you know df2 and ds2 later after after let first let us first go with this uh, data frame and data set are here okay clear right right now data frame one data set one sorry data set one now if i want to create a rdd out of this how do i create rdd well rd1 equal to a c dot text file we have data frame data set as well as rdd here isn't it can you observe now df1 is rdd for the same file for the same file df1 is rdd for the same file df1 is data frame ds1 is a data set here and rd1 is a rdd so we could create data frame data set rdd for the same file text file but which one would be you know best object to perform operations on this data now which one would be better which one do you suggest so as per our discussions we uh, we have to prefer the rdd because the unstructured data can be handled uh, you know efficiently with rdd operations but not with data frame and data set that's what we have discussed but now i say that to handle this as text to file text to file to handle the text to file prefer rdd or data set but still but still i am saying that we we prefer data set even you know rdd instead of going with rdd we can prefer data set directly to handle this text to file let me show why that now rd1 dot take off some 10 sorry dot for each of print ln so this is the data so how do we split the data here this rdd data how do you split it First, we have to split right. We have to split the data based on the delimiter. What is the delimiter? R D two equal to R D one dot map of x implies x dot split based on double colon. Okay, this is going to create a what you call as R D D with split. Now, just observe now here. D S one dot show of some type. Okay, see observe clearly now. Well, ds2 equal to ds1 dot map of x implies x dot split 
based on double colon based on double colon this is rdd we are trying to perform operation on rdd here rd1 this ds1 is a data set ds1 is a data set just observe clearly now I, once again i will write all this rd1 this is rd1 on that rdd this is the next operation we are performing here this is ds1 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 and this is the operation we are trying to perform on data set 2 this also know what is the difference between these two rdd as well as data set the same the creation of the rdd out of this file and creation of data set out of that file and we are performing map operation x implies x dot split here also we are using same thing here x implies x dot split based on this delimiter okay now how do we print rdd rd2 dot uh, some take of five let me take five dot for each of print ln sorry don't use print ln here five five records similarly ds2 dot ds2 dot show we see that show of uh, five it is going to show the data like this now what is that we are trying to do is we are trying to perform what you call as map operation so till now we have seen map operation and the x implies something that's on data as rdd only but we can perform the same type of operations on data set also on the data set also this is the proof for it ds1 is a data set on that we are performing x plus x also based on the hash based on the double colon okay now rd2 can you tell me after this how to proceed how to extract the fields out of this can you tell me after this rd3 equal to rd2 dot map of x implies can you tell me how to extract the first field second field and third field the first field is movie id second field is title and third field is general can you tell me how do i get it well movie id equal to uh, x of zero dot to int next well um, what is that title equal to x of one and val jenner equal to x of 2 dot x of 2 and finally we are framing like this M movie id title comma jenner okay this is what we have been doing all okay rd1 rd2 and rd3 got it now let me explain something here so rdd data frame and data set okay so the input file is a text file input file is a csv file input file is a json file input file is a some table some avro file xml file like this so which one you prefer to create out of these files rdd data frame or data set so i prefer i prefer to create rdd to work with rdd to perform to process this text file by using rdd operations or data set operations not data frame and for csv file i prefer to go with data frame not with rdd or data set and for json i prefer a data frame for tables i prefer data frame and for avro and xml all this i prefer the data frame here so if the file is structured or semi-structured try to create data frame out of it if it is unstructured we can have two options rdd and data set but it is recommended to go with the data sets it is recommended to go with the data sets is it fine okay just the basic thing i am trying to show here basic rdd data frame and data set that's it okay